Come on. Hey! Come here, Jim. Yeah. Here we are on beautiful Swede Mountain in Libby, Montana. <laughs> hey! Welcome. For this week's episode, we travel to Northwest Montana, an area known for its beautiful lakes and rivers and reputation for great fishing. To start things off, we went to Swede Mountain to check things out and get a good view of the area. We made a list of the things we wanted to do and then headed back to start packing the gear. Okay, hey, we're fishing in Libby Creek, Montana right now. The water levels are pretty high, so I'm not expecting to get anything because everywhere we've put in so far, we haven't even got a bite. But it's still beautiful country, and it's a lot of fun getting through here. John is up the creek away. He decided to go out a little bit further, leaving me with Gemma. Where's Gemma? See? I got me and Gemma. Starting to get hungry. Can't wait to go back and try and get something for dinner tonight. Hey guys, welcome to the Yak River Campground in, um, it's like Western Montana about. So this right here is the RV that we rented and we are sleeping in for the two nights that we are staying here. And as we walk a little bit more forward, you can see we have the bear box that we store our food in so the bears don't get into it. And we stored our fishing gear off the side so nobody steps on it. And we walk over here, we have our lovely dog Gemma, she's been here with us for most of the time. We have our pickle chips, dinner at, and then this is the campfire we cooked our hot dogs on last night. They were delicious, and Gemma was really happy to get a few hot dogs in her stomach too. But we also went down to the uh, local store called, I think Troy, or no, the local uh, town called Troy, 
and we just you know picked up some salad and stuff like that and it was pretty good but yeah we walk up here you know to the river it's really just a beautiful place I mean this I love being out here in Montana <laughs> there's the old devil dog Montana is about my favorite place in the whole entire world it's really just a scenic, amazing location. Montana is really just one of the most beautiful places in the world. I, mean, I haven't seen every, everywhere in the world, but I, I know that there's a lot of really nice places here in Montana. Such as the Libby Creek, and this is the, this is the Yak River right here. Easy River, which it uh, actually merges into. But yeah, as you can see, this is the Yak River. We did some fishing a little bit uh, upstream a ways in these nice deep pools. I had a lot of bites, but it didn't hook on anything. But down there, you can see the uh, the Yak River merges into the Kootenai River, which is a river that flows through Mon a lot of Montana, a lot of western Montana. And a little bit downstream a ways, we, uh, we fished a really, really large pool. And uh, when they, my grandpa, my dad, and my sister left, uh, my grandpa and my dad were also fishing, I managed to pull out three sucker fish. And then one of them was about this big, the smallest one was that big, and the medium-sized one was about like, oh, like around there, actually. And they, they fought hard. I was kind of surprised to see how well a sucker fish could fight. But yeah, it's just an amazing place to be at. I love this place. It is just Next up on the agenda is kayak fishing on the Kootenai River. We put in in the uh, town of Troy, Montana and travel back to our campsite in the Yak River. Along the way we did some fishing and enjoyed some rapids. Pretty much just enjoyed the view along the way. John actually caught the nicest trout of the trip right here on this river. Part of the trip we look forward to the most is where the Yak River dumps into the Coop. The force of the combining rivers makes for some great rapids to end the ride. Hey, Jeff, fun? How'd you like that last rapid? That was great. Wish I was a little bit more in the middle. This here is the Fisher River. Got here about an hour ago, and what I'm doing is I'm just trying to, to fish this little hole down here. You can kind of see it's it's you know a good little current. You can see how it's kind of jerking on my pole. Sometimes it makes you think like you got a fish because that current can get in there. Do I have a fish? No. 
But I'm trying to get in these rocks. You can see where the water's going. I kind of cast my pole right over. I'm going to take it in and try it again. So one of the reasons I really like fishing these rivers is because I can see the view of these beautiful mountains in the rear. You know, it's just a, a sense of peace and tranquility. As I'm fishing, I kind of kind of look up and just am in awe of nature. caught this beautiful little rainbow trout right there in those pools so and what happened is I I get I see, feel him biting I feel the fish biting so I reel in a little bit and here comes the worm up to the top and I see him get it. I see him absolutely annihilate the worm so then I pull him up to the surface and I'm trying to get him above the rocks and he falls off he falls off the hook into the rock so I have to jump down into the rocks grab grab the fish and then I have to you know and eventually I grab him and then I accidentally drop you know he starts like you know <laughs> doing that a whole bunch and then you know he start, then he starts well, what, uh. so then eventually he starts you know flopping and flipper flopping around all in the dirt. So I go down there, clean him up. And I you know I bonk him, and so he'll taste pretty good. But yeah, that's what's happened. We're out here on the the Fisher River in Western Montana. So yeah, we're having a great time. All in all, the trip to Montana was awesome. We fished and hiked and kayaked and got to see some amazing sights. More importantly, as far as the YouTube video channel is concerned, is that we got the opportunity to try out various cameras and GoPros and even a drone to see what we could create. We learned a great deal and the hope is to create better videos in the future and the lesson like this one. I caught a trout when I was kayaking on the Kootenai River that day. However, I didn't realize that I was already recording when the fish struck. So in my excitement to capture the reeling in, I reached up to press the GoPro button thinking that I was starting to record when in actuality, I stopped recording and didn't get it on tape. Oh well, that gives me a reason to go out again this month. Oh, fish on!